Chapter 6, Section 3. The Rectangular Coordinate System and Linear Equation in Two Variables. This is algebra. And the majority of this lecture will focus around algebra. Now, I want to reintroduce you to a few concepts and a few things you should have already known, already learned before coming into this class. And that's going to be the rectangular coordinate system itself and how to plot and identify coordinates. Now, what is the rectangular coordinate system? Well, the foundation of graphing and math is a system for locating data points using a pair of perpendicular number lines. We call each one an axis and perpendicular are where two lines intersect making a 90 degree angle. As we can see here, these two axes intersect with each other here at the point zero zero or the origin making a 90 degree angle. The horizontal line is called the x-axis. The vertical line is called the y-axis. The point where the two intersects is called the origin. Collectively, they form what is known as the rectangular coordinate system, sometimes called the Cartesian plane. The two axes divide the plane into four regions called quadrants which we number using Roman numerals, one, two, three, and four. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant number four. Where the axes intersect is known as the origin. In this video, we're going to answer questions one and questions two. For question number one, we want to plot the points. So let's first label our axes. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Let's plot each point. Now, to plot a point, you want to start in the origin. Start at the origin, and you want to move in the direction that's indicated by the x value and the y value. The first point is going to be 5 comma negative 3. Start at the origin. Move 5 units to the right. Move 3 units downwards. So 5 to the right, 3 down. The next one says zero four. X is zero, so I don't move to the left or to the right. The Y is four, so I'm gonna move four units up to the point zero four. The point where a line crosses the Y axis is known as the Y intercept. So this point will be the point what is called the Y intercept. And it's going to be the coordinate of 0, 4. Notice how when the point is on the y axis, the x value is 0. That's going to come again later on when we're looking at x and y intercepts and also when we're graphing a line in a slope intersect form. Negative 3, negative 2. x is negative 3, so move 3 to the left and move two downwards, negative three, negative two. Negative two, zero. From the origin, we move two to the left. Because y is zero, we do not move up, nor that we move down. We're gonna keep the point right here. And if you notice, this point is on the x-axis. And when the line crosses the x-axis, we're going to call that the x-intercept. When it comes to the x-intercept, you're going to notice the value of y is 0. Keep that in mind because we will be exploring the x-intercepts later on.
The point zero zero, as stated before, is the origin. And the last point of two six, move, start from the origin, move two over to the right, move six up, will be right here. So we plotted all the points that we needed. So I hope you guys understand how to plot points. Now we're gonna see how well can we do identifying points that have been already plotted. B says, based on the graph, identify coordinates A through E. Coordinate A. The X is one, the Y is eight. So that's the coordinate of one eight, the point of one eight. When it comes to B, the X is negative two, the Y is 12. That's the point of negative two, 12. C, the X is negative five but the Y is going to be zero. And the reason why I know that is because the point is on the X axis. And when the point is on the X axis, like I said before, the Y value is zero. Negative five comma zero. D, the point is on the Y axis. When the point is on the Y axis, the X value is zero and the Y value indicates six. In point E, the X value is negative four and the Y value is negative eight. Will be the point of negative four, negative eight. And that is the answer to question number two. So, Hope you understand number one and number two, and we're gonna be using that, those little basic simple things, the little prereqs to answer the following questions that are below. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Take care.